probably more birds than any of us would see in a lifetime are going to move, you know, over our state on it's probably any given night for the next two weeks, ultimately. CSU professor Kyle Horton says in early May, 200 to 300 million birds will fly over the country daily. He's teamed up with Cornell University to create a bird forecast. It's based on radar data and weather forecasts combined with what they know about how birds respond to weather. If the winds are blowing out of this direction and the temperatures are this, um, then we probably have a good indication of this is a good night for migration or this is a poor night of migration. They can even break it down by region. 6.6 .6 million birds are projected to fly over Colorado on Thursday night. More than 9,000 just over Denver alone. The problem for scientists trying to study migration patterns and changes over time is that the birds travel mostly in the dark of night. That's where this new radar at the CSU Foothills campus comes in. It's specifically geared to identifying birds and it's the first of its kind in the U.S. It can determine the size of the bird, the speed and the height of travel, and even how fast its wings are flapping. We won't know which species, right? We wouldn't be able to say it's a, a warbler or a sparrow. But we could certainly, uh, with a high degree of confidence, say it's a songbird, for instance. Horton says with the new specific information, scientists will be able to learn more about how bird migrations are changing as a result of forces like drought, wildfire, and rapid urbanization. As those things become more common, are just, you know, a um, sort of a, a vortex of bad things for uh, birds and migratory birds especially. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.